Let's look at adding some numbers together here. We've got add 34 plus 45. And so what we want to do, first of all, is we're going to line our numbers up vertically. And we always want to line up the rightmost digits with one another. So I've got my 34 first, and then I'm going to add and line up the 45 right below it. And so then I start with my rightmost column and I add my two digits together. Five plus four equals nine. And I put my nine right here, all nicely lined up with the rightmost column. And then I move over and I do the same thing again, simply looking at my three and four. Three plus four equals seven. And I write the answer right below here. And 34 plus 45 equals 79. With this problem, again, I'm going to do the same steps, but you're gonna see that we're gonna end up with a little, a little tricky problem here. So I've got my 14, and then I wanna line up the 39 vertically. And so I always line up the rightmost numbers together. So I need to make sure my nine goes here below the four and then 30 there. So I've lined them up and now I want to write my answer. But I run into a little problem and that is that when I start with my rightmost column and I add nine plus four together, I get an answer that's more than just one digit. It's not a nine or below. When I add nine plus four, I get 13. And where am I supposed to write the 13 in the answer? To understand how to do problems like this, we need to know the concept of regrouping. Anytime that you add two digits together, and the result is more than nine, you only write the rightmost digit below and you move one to the next digit to the left. It's a little difficult to understand, so let's look at a few examples. Let's take a look at this problem, four plus 49, and we're going to look at the concept of regrouping. So if I have, I can put the 49 here and I want to make sure then that I line up vertically my numbers. And so I've got four plus 49 or 49 plus four and I can do them either way. Um, I want to make sure that I line up my rightmost digits when I'm lining up my numbers vertically. So I wanna make sure that I put my four here under the nine. And with a four, the number four, we can put a zero in the tens place. And that will help us just kind of hold that position in the tens column. You can think of it as there are zero tens when you're making up four. And so now I'm going to start my work from the rightmost column and work my way over. So what happens when I add nine plus four is that I get the answer of 13. And so what I'm going to do with that answer is I am going to write the three of the 13, which is so nine plus four equals 13. I'm going to write the three of my answer, or the rightmost digit, underneath here. And then I'm going to what's called regroup, or carry over. And the one from the 13, I'm going to put in the next column to the left. And so I'm gonna put this one here. And I'm going to then add the four plus the one plus the zero and get the answer of five. And that five, I'm going to place here in the second column over from the right in the tens place to get the answer of 53. So sometimes regrouping like we did here is uh, referred to as carrying over. So the 13 from our nine plus four was regrouped 
the three placed in the ones column and the one placed in the tens column and it was regrouped and carried or or carried over to um, to the to the tens column for our one and so both regrouping or carrying over describe this same concept of splitting up the number and putting your rightmost digit in the right column and taking your one and carrying it over to the next column. Let's look at a similar example, but instead of just adding four to 49, we're gonna add 14 plus 49. So again, we want to line up our two numbers vertically. And so I've put my 14 here in this case, plus 49 with my two rightmost numbers lined up. And then I begin my adding from the right, working my way to the left. So nine plus four, again, nine plus four equals 13. And so remember when my answer to adding two one digit numbers together results in a number greater than nine, I'm going to take the digit in the rightmost place and I'm gonna place that digit here and I'm gonna take the next digit to the left, the one, and I'm going to carry it over or regroup it to the next place. So I'm going to put a one right above this one and this four. And so then I work my way over to the left, one more column, one more place to the tens place, and I simply add up the numbers, including the one that I regrouped or carried over. So four, plus one plus one equals six. And I put that number right here lined up in this same column. And I can see that 14 plus 49 equals 63. Let's look at one more example. We need to add together 57 plus 38. So we line our two numbers up vertically, 57 plus 38 making sure that our rightmost digits are lined up to the right. So I start then with my rightmost column and I need to add together seven plus eight. Well, I know that seven plus eight equals 15. And so remember that anytime you add two digits together, two one digit numbers together and your result is greater than nine, you need to regroup or carry over. So in this case, I'm going to take the five, which is my rightmost digit of the answer, and I'm going to write just the five underneath my seven plus eight. And then with the one, I'm going to regroup or carry over that one to the tens column. And so I'm going to write it right here above the five. And then I move over and do my work on my next column, the tens column. And I add five plus three is eight. And don't forget to add that one that you regrouped or carried over for an answer of nine. And I write my nine right here in the tens column, right underneath the five, the three, and the one. So I get an answer of 57 plus 38 equals 95.